Hello everyone and welcome to Be Jewel's Book Reviews. My name is Tammy Shields and I'm so delighted to have you join me today. As you can see, I am in character today. I'm wearing my bumblebee costume. Isn't it amazing? I love it. It is so cute and it goes perfectly with the book that I'll be reviewing today. And that book is actually called Bees Bees. Bees Bees is a great book. And I will place this book probably with your preschoolers, pre-K or first to second grade, like that age group. But this book is about a little girl named Beatrice. She's the character here on the book and it's B for short. And the author is Catherine Pryor and the illustrator is Ellie Peterson. Now, before I read you a few passages from the book, let me tell you about this little girl. She is so smart and so inquisitive. One day she was walking home from school and she heard buzzing bees. They were everywhere. They were flying around. They were doing all kinds of tricks. They were probably moving around like my wings are moving now, but probably a lot better than my wings are actually moving now. But they were jumping from flower to flower and she noticed that they were going to a hollow tree. So she wanted to investigate a little bit. So she went over to the tree and when she did, she noticed a beehive inside. She described their work as like a busy airport. So as they jumped from flower to flower, they were taking food back to their family in the beehive. And that is what she noticed. So she was so fascinated with these bumblebees, this became a regular everyday occurrence for Beatrice. She would go over to the hollow tree and she would watch her bumblebees do their work. Well, one day when she was going home, she went to the tree and she didn't hear any buzzing. All she saw was a lonely butterfly. This lonely butterfly was flying around the hollow tree, probably looking for his friends the way she was looking for her friends. She didn't see anything except for an empty hollow tree. And she saw cut flowers all around the tree. This really made her sad. So the next day, she decided to go and talk to her teacher about her discovery, the discovery of the bumblebees and their beehive and all of the work that she saw them doing. And she asked her teacher, what happened to the bees or what could have happened to the bees? Her teacher really didn't have an answer for her other than sometimes bees just disappear. They go away. Well, she wanted to have more answers. She really wanted to find out what happened to the bees. So the next day she went to the library and she asked the librarian, can you help me find everything that you can on bumblebees? And this is where I'm gonna actually start the reading. So let me go in now. And as you can see, this is Beatrice. She's at the library and she's writing out everything she can possibly find on bumblebees. So it reads, B read everything she could about bees. She learned that they liked to eat pollen and nectar from lots of different flowers and that they needed lots of open space to find them. B also learned that bees are a type of pollinator, which means they carry pollen from flower to flower. So you can see that she's writing all of those things down. All right, let me turn the page and see what happens next. There's a sign here that says, no pumpkins this year. <gasps> no pumpkins this year? Can you imagine no pumpkins in the fall? That would be so sad. Well, without bees, blueberry, raspberry, and pumpkin plants would not be able to turn flowers into fruit. There would be no more apples or almonds or avocados without bees. Some of Beatrice's favorite foods would disappear. I'm quite sure that these are some favorite foods for others as well. So B began to make a plan. So she decided to make a plan. That is where you come in at. This book is amazing. The plan was phenomenal. And one of the main concepts of this book is that it teaches the importance of how bumblebees are to our ecosystem, how important they are rather to our ecosystem as well as our environment. So it teaches a lot. It's jam-packed with a lot of different things and there's so many extended activities that you can do with this book. And if you follow the resource after the video, 
the next video will tell you a lot what you can do, not only at home, but also things that you can do right inside of your classroom to extend on learning. I really like this book a lot because it focuses, like I said, more on just the language and literacy. It also focuses on math and science, which we need to make sure that we're incorporating into our classrooms more and more. Now, one of the things that I also did get when I purchased this book was a little accompanying item I have here, right here. Isn't she amazing? She is so beautiful. She's a fairy. Now, I purchased her from Amazon. As you can see, we're both in costume today. We have a similar costume. She has a beautiful dress, and she's so soft, guys. She really is. Her dress is really pretty, too. As you can see, it has a beehive, has a bumblebee, and it also has a flower. I love her hair. I love the little afro puffs. She's so soft. She has wings on the back. She has these cute, soft little shoes. I like to call her my little bee jewel. She is amazing. Now, when I purchased her, there were other fairies there, too. I think it was a ladybug and a couple other ones. What I will do is I will give you the information on how to purchase her as well as the book, or if you like, you can just get the book from your local library. Just call your local library and just ask if they have these bees. Again, the author is Catherine Pryor and it's illustrated by Ellie Peterson. And here's the book again. And there's our girl Beatrice, our smart little girl Beatrice. I really like her a lot. And I think your children will enjoy this a lot too. So please if you have a chance to check out the next video for her because it has extended learning and resources for you to use. Now, I do need something from all of my subscribers or potential subscribers. Please like and subscribe so I can continue to bring you these great reviews as well as resources. And I would like you to do one more thing for me. Keep reading. Okay, I'll see you again next time. Have a good one.